just don't play football. You're good at this. How's the team? Not quite there yet. I might have something that'll help get you there. I'm not letting her put her hands under my King Kongs. Don't you mean your ping pongs? Hike the ball. <laughs> Coach, we didn't change it in front of her. She's a girl. Oh, got a little dirt in your skirt? I'm gonna knock her out of her training, bro. Beyonce! Beyonce! She ain't the only girl on the team no more. Personally, <laughs> we feel like girls shouldn't play some men's sports. Yeah. Particularly football. Basketball, soccer, um, baseball, tennis. You can have at it. Football. It's not your place. Lay. Sir. Yeah. Yeah. Kane is in the building, nigga. Yeah. It's alright, already the show goes on all night. Till the morning we dream so long. Anybody ever wonder when they will see the sun? Just remember when you come to the show. What's up? A sport between two teams of 11 where the objective of the game is to score points by advancing the ball into the opposing team's end zone. It dates back to the mid-19th century in the UK being a mix of rugby and association football. Walter Camp, the father of American football, instituted the first rule changes, giving him his title. Football's popularity grew with the times, so much that in 1892, William Heffelfinger got a $500 contract to play in a game for the Allegheny Athletic Association against the Pittsburgh Athletic Club, deeming this game a professional one. In 1920, the American Professional Association formed, and two years later, in 1922, it was changed to the NFL. Men dominated all levels until women showed that they could also hang with the boys. They can hang so well in fact that Title IX was passed, the IWFL, a professional women's football team, was created, and a female by the name of Katie Nida made history by becoming the first female to play in Division I football. I wondered how the public views accomplishments like this, so I walked around and asked, how do you feel about females playing predominantly male sports such as football? Uh, it's kind of, I don't know, good for you for like girls. I mean, it's a tough sport. Um, I think that's a tough one. Uh, we could probably debate that all day, right? Uh, um, honestly, I think, every, I think everybody should have a chance to do everything. I have a 14 year old daughter and I encourage her to do everything that she can possibly do that she's interested in. So, I'm, I'm all for it. I like it. I mean, I love football. I mean, it's cool as long as they don't really play together. <laughs> I feel like if the girls feel like they can hold their own, then I think they should be able to. But I also feel like if they're going to take that risk, it is going to be a risk because um, I feel like the males will target them more because they may be territorial about their sports. But I do think it. I think it's ultimately up to them. I don't think there should be a stipulation that doesn't allow them to. If a girl can play with the boys, she can play with the boys. I ain't gonna discriminate because of that. Um, me personally, um, I mean, in some situations, yeah, like some some some, some sports, like basketball, baseball, maybe soccer, but football, I think it's a whole nother level for females not to play um, and not to be on the football team. I also wanted to know, how would you feel if you saw a girl on UGA's football team in about three years? Power to you if you can be out there with all the guys yeah. and and you're good at it. Not get hurt, not get your shit rocked. But like, I mean, yeah, sure. Power female, like one, or enjoy doing football team. I would be fine. 
I mean, if she, as, again, if she's good enough to be on the team and you know she makes the cut, then just like any other guy, then I feel like, why not? Be interesting. I sort of like that. How about that? It'll be interesting. That's a very, very, very interesting concept. I don't know. Has it ever been done before? I don't know. If she, I say, if she's good, then I mean, that's fine. I think it'd be awesome. A girl on it. I won't feel. I won't feel right. Cause I'm yeah, just y'all team. Other teams, man. Look at look at all the other schools in the SEC. They're like, man, they Georgia got a girl on their football team. Like. Something ain't going on. I mean, uh, if she good, then, I mean, so be it. Like, she just can play. But I, don't, I can't find too many females that can just really come out here. Lastly, I wanted to know if anybody even knew what Title IX was. So I asked, do you know what Title IX is? Wait, what? Say it again. Penny, 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 I do not know what Title IX is. No, I don't know what Title IX is. Title IX? Yeah. No, I don't know what Title IX is. Title IX. Isn't that about the women's, that, you know, how many women's players you have compared to how many men's players for sports? I do not. No, okay. not really. No. I mean, I, I, think, I, I think I do. I do with the female. I don't know. Does it deal with education? Mm. Is that about women's rights? I don't. Title IX is an amendment of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. It was renamed to the Patsy T. Mink Equal Opportunity in Education Act in 2002. It is a law that states no person in the United States shall, on the basis of sex, be excluded from participation in, deny the benefits of, or be subjected to discrimination under any education program or activity receiving federal financial assistance. United States Code Section 20. I should know all about this because I had the honor of being the first female ever to play on the Southwest Cab varsity football team. I was a kicker, and I proudly wore number 20. Were you any good, one might ask? Well, actually, no. No, I wasn't. I missed both of the field goals I attempted. Nevertheless, I ended the season with newfound knowledge, a newfound love for life, and way more family members than I'd ever imagined. I know that I'll never lose the experience I had, the feelings I felt, or the me I became. Because of Title IX, I was able to do things never done before, learn things I've never known, and just like those missed field goals, I've learned that the show goes on. Kane is in the building.